Hi there, my name is Isaac Oster. I just got a comment from one of uh, Bad King's users asking how I created the neck tube on this model. So I figured I'd just go ahead and make a quick uh, tutorial video. I think it'll be a little bit easier than, than uh, uh, writing something down. So I'm going to hop over to Max, and this is where I have my, my base mesh, my little individual piece here. And when I built it, the only thing I really cared about was that it looked kind of cool. Maybe like there was some kind of a, a woven metal, um, so that when I, you know, tile it or or, or clone it along a, a curve, it looks cohesive and interesting. Uh, so, the way that this works is you want to go ahead and and have your geometry and then create a spline. So I'm going to go to Create Shapes Line, turn on the grid, and going to just draw draw a curve out so I need to right click to leave curve creation mode or line creation mode select my geometry and then go to tools align and then spacing tool so if your object is selected one of the options basically all you need to do is click pick path and then click the the um, the, the line that you've just created and your settings here may be a little bit different than mine, uh, but basically there's a bunch of different options in this drop down. I use the second one down, divide evenly objects at ends. I turn on centers, which will mean that it's going to um, duplicate the object along its center line. And then also follow will make the object follow the curve as opposed to being, you know, uh, maintaining its original orientation. So uh, I have set this up marginally somewhat incorrectly to show you a problem that you're likely to run into. So I'm going to go ahead and click the pick path button and then click the line. So what you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and just reduce my point count. So there's two things to keep in mind initially. The first one is if I move the camera, these go away because really they're just preview. So I can go back to line and then they'll come back in and you, know, you can change your settings around. So you may notice that they are not following the line. And the reason for that is they will basically, whatever the, the X forward direction is, that's how they will be oriented. So if I want these to be rotated so they follow the line, what I need to do is actually go back to the main geometry. And uh, I have uh, curve snap on, so it makes it a little bit easier to, to stick to, to whole numbers there. So let me just make sure that I am at 90. And then I need to freeze transforms, sorry, reset transforms. Uh, old Maya user. So if I if I hit reset selected, well, I've already got one on there. I'm going to go ahead and collapse this, right click and convert to editable poly. Uh, that basically makes it forget that I rotated it 90 degrees and it thinks that this is its new orientation. So now if I click line again, now they are pointed in the correct direction. So all I need to do is increase my count and hit apply and I would have my finished tube. So that's the, the, the basics. I'm going to go ahead and create a slightly more complicated curve here, just for laughs. I'm going to go to Helix, and then go ahead and draw it up. And give it a couple more turns. All right. So I will select the geometry, go to Tools, Align, Spacing Tool, Pick Path, and there we go. Increase the count so that it is dense enough so that they are pretty close. And then, so let me turn Follow off so you can sort of see what happens. It, it doesn't rotate along with the curve, so you definitely want to have Follow on in, in this kind of situation. And hit Apply. And then I just export this back into ZBrush. Uh, you could also, as part of the same mesh, put a little bit of a cylinder in there so that you have something, or maybe like multiple tubes, so you have something following the inside to make it look even more interesting. So I just select the whole thing, export as an OBJ, and import it into ZBrush. And then, you know, you'll have something like this. So to, to set this up so that the, the placement was correct, I actually built uh, a little guide mesh inside ZBrush using ZSpheres. I just sort of put one there and then put one there and then put one in the base down here somewhere uh, and then exported that little polytube into Max and used that as a, as a, a guide for what my um, what my spline needed to look like. 
So, uh, so there you go. Uh, please feel free to email me. Uh, my my website is uh, isaacoster.com. Uh, this right here. So you can get my con contact information there if you'd like, and I'm more than happy to answer any additional questions. Thank you very much.